Welcome everybody to episode 19 of the Iron Man series. In this episode we will be continuing off with a lot of Slayer, uh, as well as some potential Barrows as well. Uh, see if we can snag some lucky items, and obviously, you gotta get those hard clues done. One of my favorite things to do, especially with Slayer since you get so many. Let's go ahead and hop right in. By the way guys, here is how the Slayer tab slash Clue Alk Loot tab is looking right now. Sorry about that, that was my phone. Got how much in Rune Battle Axes? That's probably the most expensive one. Yeah, 785k in just Rune Battle Axes. That's pretty sick. Uh, I don't know whenever we'll get on that. Maybe whenever we actually need the money for something. Or um, maybe whenever I run out, whenever I'm doing battle stabs every day. Speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But, I'm going to be doing all the Alks over at the Relica Agility course just because I don't want to just sit here and Alk doing nothing. Because Mans is not wasteful. And I always buy the five battle stabs as well that are in stock from the Iron Man world because they're also pretty cheap as well. Another week has gone by, so that means another session of Tears of Guthix. 144 tiers. Let's see that beautiful runecrafting XP. Oh! 8.6k level 60 rune crafting. I believe we are now base 60s on the account, which is pretty cool. And we can now infuse the uh, the boots that I won't get for quite a while up until uh, I believe 90 91 Slayer for Serb. So yeah, pretty cool. What you got for me, big stinky fellow? A hard clue. All right, cool. I apologize for calling you a stinky fellow. We got ourselves a pretty solid yield from Miscellanea, even though I kind of have been neglecting this. It was at 70% whenever I first got here. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been here for a while because I haven't had money. So, I'm going to put some of this money in here. 72 Renar Weeds. That's actually amazing. Uh, seeds are kind of bad, but we got 2k Teak Logs and some nests. Beautiful. And, let's see here. Deposit. Let's go... 750k. Now let's go 1 mil. Alright, perfect. Now let's go rake until we're at 100%. Alright, another hard clue. What are we getting today? Nice! A Zami page 2. I don't actually know if we need this, but let's hurry up to a bank and see if we have it. I feel like I've got it, but then again, you can never be too sure. Oh, got three of the same page. RIP. Well, I missed the level, but we just got 89 strength over here at the Gargoyles. We are actually going to be getting us a uh, Slayer level, too, so we'll have 79 Slayer by the end of this task as well. My mic was muted for this clip, so let's just act like this is genuine. Oh my god, we got the Rune Kite Shield H3. We totally need that for a clue. Alright, but yeah, we're actually super happy about that because that unlocks, I, I believe it's two clue steps, so... Super excited about that. One for the Agility Pyramid, and not really sure about the other one. Here we go. We completed the Diaries. Give me the Easy XP, the Medium, and finally, the Mauritania Legs 3. The Direct Teleport to Bergdorot, which is going to be my main transportation to Barrows. Which I actually might go ahead and do a few runs, just because I'm pretty hyped for it. Throw these in Herblore. And there we go, 69 herb lore. We can make anti-fire potions. That's actually pretty cool. After the uh, Mauritania Hard Diary has been completed, decided I should go ahead and try a few more chests of barrows. Haven't had any luck recently. So, well, uh, I say recently. I haven't had any luck at all on the account yet. So, even if I don't have good luck, I will be getting a lot more runes, which in turn is just better for me in general before I end up going back to Slayer. Wow, that is a lot of runes. Thank you very much, Mauritania Hard Diaries. Got another chest. Any luck? Oh, yes! Boys, we got our item! Guthans Helm, 40 kill count. Let's go, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. Can we get the back-to-back? -back? Chest number 41 for... Oh, my God! Are you joking? Let's go! The dry streak is totally worth it, man. I'm so glad I decided to come to Barrows. Let's go. See what we can get for 42. Whew. All right, solid amount of runes. This is going to be the last chest of the night. Uh, I'm running out of Ivan's charges. I've got 19 left, so this is going to be it. That is a solid amount of death runes. Definitely not going to complain with that. 
Well, we just got 85 magic without me really realizing it. I knew I was close, but I didn't realize I was going to get it this soon, so pretty nice. Any luck today? Ooh, elite clue. Nice. Can we do the first step? Kill a I don't know, maybe. Man, this is actually a really cool place. My first elite clue step is down here. I gotta get some bones from one of these friendly fellas. But look at this, man. It's pretty cool. Ended up having to drop the clue. We needed a granite shield, split bark body, and a rune bucket helm. So, no thanks. 82 K Kona coming in, boys. I don't think we really unlock anything, although it is just a beautiful level to see. Trying to keep up with the farm runs as much as possible. It's going pretty well so far. See, I never really care for doing five giant tasks, but, you know, after this, 10k free prayer XP per task, roughly something like that every now and again, so that's actually pretty nice. That's going to be my motivation from now on to be doing these fire giant tasks. I've been doing plenty of birdhouse runs as well, pretty much like as soon as I'm done with the task, I'll do one. It's a sad day, boys. We are officially out of magic logs. Hopefully we can pick up a wyvern's task, end up getting some more, and that will be beautiful. Oh, and here's how the nest count is looking as well. 2.5k bird's nest right now. Well, 2.6 if you're counting these, so pretty nice. It's going to keep on growing, though. And one thing that I forgot to do that would have been helpful on the last task was get a uh, fancy old bone crusher. Here we go. I uh, don't have any charges in it. Actually, let me run and grab some. Just added those Ecto tokens. 50k charges in the Bone Crusher, boys. It's going to help a lot, especially in the uh, Catacomb Slayer tasks, in which uh, whenever you bury a bone, it uh, gives you back one prayer point. So that's actually going to be really sick. Or if it's big bones, I think it's two prayer points. Dragon Bones is four, but I don't think anybody would ever use this on a dragon task. Well, boys... Looky here, our very first lizard men task. I've never done them even on my main, so this should be fun. I've got to go get the shazy and armor. I don't think it takes too long. I think I just have to fight some people or something like that. So we'll do that. <coughs> Sorry, a little sick. And then we'll get geared up and ready to kill the shamans. This took me absolutely forever, but I suppose it beats doing creature creation or whatever. So never really done it. But, uh, yeah, it took me about probably like 30 minutes to get a full inventory of four dose super antis from the super anti-poison spawn up here above Castle Wars. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this task started. Actually, I think I need to purchase the Crystal Bow, a brand new one, because mine currently only has like a few charges on it. Finished off this elite clue casket, had to make a mind shield, and uh, that was pretty much it, but... Some interesting steps back to back Sherlock's that were completable. Let's see what we get. Okay, well. I mean, it's something. Let's purchase one of these bows for 900k. It's pretty expensive, but you know, it's an investment. And um, the next one will be going down in price, and it keeps going down in price until it's about 280k. So that's the goal from this to uh, get it as cheap as possible. And, oh, I guess I can get another one if I wanted. I didn't realize you kept the crystal seed. Well, I know I just said that I was going to be doing the shaman task right now, but apparently it's best to use bone to, bones to peaches there, so I'm going to use a few hours. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. And go ahead and grab myself the bones to peaches spell. I feel like that'll make my life a lot easier in the long run. So hopefully this won't take me like five hours. I believe this will put us at the points where we need to be. Yes, 305 points. We actually had a pretty big mistake that happened. I had over 12k coins. I had like 12,006 coins. Turned them in and uh, it kicked me out of the room. Didn't get any points. Pretty, pretty demotivated for a while because I pretty much wasted 30 minutes. But I guess it gives me more of an accurate representation of how long it took me to do this grind. Because I did have like 117 points to begin with. And let's see how long it took me. So to do this entire grind, it took me a little bit over three and a half hours. Which is definitely not as bad as I thought. I was thinking maybe like four and a half, five hours. So let's go ahead and claim the Bones to Peaches spell. Purchase. Oh, beautiful. The telekinetic room took me about an hour and ten minutes. 
The graveyard room took me 52 minutes. The enchantment room was the shortest, coming in at like 18 minutes. And the alchemy room took me about an hour and 13 minutes. So I'm pretty glad to be done with this grind, but I will be back here eventually because I would like to get the infinity boots for later on whenever we uh, need to use the eternal crystal on it. Even before that, actually, for like bursting tasks and stuff, it would make it a lot easier. Master Wand and potentially Mage's Book. Not really sure about that. I might just settle with the Book of Darkness. Uh, the Book of Darkness, I believe, is a plus 10 magic bonus. And the Mage's Book is a plus 15, so it's kind of a big difference. But, I don't know, I might get lazy because the Master Wand, or the Mage's Book, is actually probably the uh, biggest pain to get out of all of them with it being the most points. Also, I want to give a shout out to Wizard because his guide for the Mage Training Arena is like top notch. So if you haven't seen it and you're planning on doing that grind, I would highly suggest that. I'll go ahead and throw that in the description as well. Now, this is actually pretty convenient that it worked out this way, but after building my study, my cash stack will be at exactly 65 GP. Oh man! Oh shoot, I should have rotated it. Can I still do that? Please tell me I can rotate. I don't know how to do it. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and build the lectern. The Mahogany Demon is for the Bones to Peaches tab. And wait. Can you only have one per room? Oh goodness. So I kind of stupidly decided I would do a plus one boost to go to Necreals and potentially get a soft clay drop. Kind of instantly realized what the hell, why am I doing this? So I'm going to go ahead and make some clay bracelets right now and work on mining some of this soft clay. I think I'll probably just go over by Varrock. Not too sure. There's probably uh, not near as many people there as there are on free to play because there's really no reason to be there on members. So hopefully it's not too packed. Well here we are directly outside the shaman layer. Got myself a, uh, I guess this is an okay inventory. I'm not really sure. I will uh, make changes accordingly to how this trip goes. But Hopefully 20 Bones to Peaches is enough. Brought Alex. I don't know if there's anything else I need, but uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. So I think I'm about halfway done with the task. I don't really remember how many I started with, but the uh, the Crystal Bow is already depleted, so we've got to go get another one. So that means I'm probably going to have to Alk some things. I've got a total of like 260k in the bank, so... Yeah, we're definitely going to have to start alking some of this Slayer tab right right here. So, Future Hyphy speaking, this is actually a terrible idea what I did. I uh, went and purchased a brand new bow from this person instead of recharging the Crystal Seed because I didn't know that you could do that. So I wasted probably about 600k in total. So, unfortunate. Please don't make that same mistake. Well, we're nearing the end of the task. We actually got back-to-back -back Rune Spears, which... Apparently is quite rare. I think one is a three out of th or a one out of 3.3k or something like that. So, a bit unfortunate. But I mean, I wasn't really expecting to get to get the warhammer so early. But hopefully, we end up getting it before the drop rate at least. That's all I can really ask for. We finished off the shaman task, picked up a hard clue while we were there, and picked up our very first piece of god dehyde on 63 hard clue count. Not too shabby. We can finally put this heraldic shield to good use. We just got the agility pyramid step, so let's go ahead and head there, collect that 10k, and hopefully complete this hard clue. As long as I don't see the words jig at jigig, I will be happy. Got ourselves yet another hard clue. Let's go ahead and see what we get. We got an armadillo page one. I don't think that's the one we need though. I think we need an armadillo page three. Let's go and check. This is the third Armadillo page one. Yeah, we're just missing the page three. And then we'll, we will have the Book of Law completed. I'm going to go ahead and end off the video here. Thank you guys very much for tuning in to episode number 19 of the Iron Man Progress series. We got a lot of stuff done this episode, like the Bones to Peaches spell is now unlocked. We also finished our very first Shaman's task, which actually took so long. Probably longer than getting the Bones to Peaches spell even got a back-to-back -back from Barrows, including an Aram Skirt, which will probably come in handy over at Zulra. So that's probably one of the best items I could have asked for. And last but not least, some God D hide. Super happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and have a great day.